Hey Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin, and this is your general reading. This is for the week of December 26, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Please remember these are general readings, so take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. Taurus, you've got a lot going on this week. This is a week about getting what you want, but I have to be honest with you, it's going to come in a form that you're not expecting. Okay, it's a week of new opportunities and good luck and abundance. But and there's going to be some secrets that are going to be revealed. These secrets may very well send you on a new emotional path. So we'll see how that unfolds as we go through your reading. There's also a quick glimpse of your temper. So I want to throw that out there as well. Okay, so let's see what we have. This is Taurus. This is your week of December 26. Happy New Year, everyone. Taurus, we start with the lover's card. So there's going to be some intensity in the love life. This applies to my singles as well as my couples, as well as we have that three of wands. Okay. And three of wands says you're looking out at your future, but you're also doing that reflection. Okay. And you're looking at to see what worked well for you and what did not work well for you. And you're taking things from that point on. With that, we have the seven of wands. You know, I think the seven of wands is the best energy in the deck. Okay, this says to me that you've been doing that journey inward. You know, you've been working on yourself. You may have been doing some meditation, some self-help things, but whatever your reason, whatever you've been doing to yourself or for yourself is starting to pay off and it's going to pay off the week of the 26th. There is the messenger card comes in here with that page of wands energy. Also want to throw out there that a Sagittarius may or may not resonate with you. Your center of the reading is <laughs> Sagittarius energy. So you're definitely dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now, temperance is the center of your reading. Temperance says, um, this is where you have embraced the transfer of energy. Hey, Dana, I'm on and off, so it's fine. Uh, yes, and we are recording these live this week, okay? So um, the transfer of energy is very simple. It's You've embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. So therefore, you're changing things up. Now, with that, you have the Nine of Cups. That's what it leads to. This is wish fulfillment, okay? Wish fulfillment, total happiness, and total contentment. Then we have judgment, okay? Do not pass judgment on other people because if you do... You're going to be wrong. And I want that to apply for the next couple of weeks, not just the week of the 26th. All righty. We'll keep her on the list. You know, miracles happen all the time. Seven of Pentacles. Working and gaining. Planting that seed. Watching it grow. Some of you guys are due for raises and or promotions. Or perhaps you're expecting a bonus and or commission check. And we have the Ten of Wands. Beautiful energy. This says that you've gathered up your obstacles, you pushed them to the side, you created a uh, new path, better path, maybe the, the right path, that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah. All righty, so we're going to go a little bit further with these messages. This is for my Taurus. This is your week of the 26th, last week of 2022. First card up. We have the Eight of Swords, and this is the card of self-imposed restrictions. Now, what does this mean to you? It means no one is holding you back this time but you, okay? So you need to let that energy go. Move forward. On that Three of Wands, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles, and that Ace of Pentacles is coming in with a new financial beginning, okay? New financial beginning. Hey, fairy tale. Seven of Wands comes in and says, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is your abundance card. Now, Taurus, not only is this the highest financial card in the deck, this is your abundance in general, okay? This is your health, your wealth, your family, your friends. There's a total abundance here. And the fact that it comes right beside that and you be getting your money is going to be significant for you guys. Nice. Then we have the devil card energy coming under the lovers. Definitely some intensity in the love life. So, Taurus, I'd have to say that if you are not in a relationship, the possibility of a relationship is now forming for you guys. Okay? I can't say it's going to be offered this week, but I can say it's forming. 
And we go on to temperance that says you guys are actually under the calm before the storm. So what does that mean for you? It means that, you know, get the rest that you can while you can before things just go completely chaotic all at one time. Then we have that Empress come out. And that Empress is the mother card. Positive changes on the home front. Some of you are news over pregnancy. We have the moon has come out saying it's about divine timing. So this is a week about everything falling into place, lining up for you. And then we have that seven of pentacles. Comes with the ten of cups, you know, um, relationship. The relationship is in the foreseeable future. I can't say it's the week of the 26th, but you're definitely, if you're single or just starting to date someone or you're looking to date someone, you're on the right track here. Okay. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is that sigh of relief on the financial side. There's something that's going to come in that will restore your financial balance. Okay, uh, something kind of levels things up. And your center of the reading bonus, Taurus, three of pentacles. You're working on working on building the money that you have. You're working on building your empire. Okay, you know what you're working with. You want to watch your money grow. So you could be working with savings. You could be working with investments. Some of you are starting to work on a side hustle and some of you are actually considering opening a business maybe in 2023, which I'm definitely going to encourage for my tours. So I thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget everything I offer is in the description box below. That description box has changed up a little bit. So check that out as well. I will see you guys soon. Happy New Year. And I'm coming right back with Gemini. Gemini, your week of the 26th is next. Bye.